Hello Taurus and welcome to my channel Green Lion Goddess Tarot. This is your mid-month check-in for September as we've got some wild and woolly winds here in the background. <laughs> so let's see what's coming in. We are in Virgo season, your fellow Earth sign. We're moving into Libra season. We are in the eclipse portals because we have the beautiful full moon in Pisces happening on the 17th. And that is going to be an eclipse. So let's see what's coming in for you. Oh, nine of acorns, power and perseverance. I love this beautiful black panther. And this is the nine of wands. I love it. Eyes on the prize. But you're holding stand, you're holding firm. Just, what do I want to say here, Taurus? I'm getting standing tall, holding firm. Standing your ground. Hmm. That's what I want to say about that. Despite the fact that there's these whirling winds or whirling things around you. So maybe it's whirling thoughts or maybe there's some stuff just whirling around you. So hmm, could be other people, other people's dramas, just what's happening. There's just, yeah, there's a lot going on there, I think, inside your mind. But it's like, oh, I'm staying in my power with this. So let's see what's shifting and changing for Taurus okay was well, shifting and changing for Taurus Taurus says actually I don't know why I can't speak today Taurus it's actually uh I was going to say there's this sense of yeah power and perseverance but I was getting a lot of determination with the nine of acorns it is the nine of wands it's like you're so close it's it's a a sense of you put in a lot of effort and you're so close to getting like getting across that finish line or completion you're so close to whatever it is you're trying to achieve here and yeah just this power and determination coming in pentacle prince virgo chariot wand king leo crown and pentacle 10 venus virgo yeah that's what i'm getting here it's like you are the driving force here to completion with that 10 of pentacles quite literally <laughs> you're like getting the message that to keep going with something keep taking those steps keep implementing what it is that you're implementing keep it could be very practical keep up with the plan keep up with the program whatever it is that it is that you're doing here keep up with this thing that you've got in motion already because you're so close so don't let anything derail you at this point. That's what I'm I'm getting for you, Taurus. So let's see what else is coming through for Taurus. So Taurus, I just wanted to let you know that this reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising. And for, just to interrupt that little blurb, I was just getting for some of you, this is like quite a physical thing. It might take some physical exertion or might feel like you're embodying something and that is, I'm just feeling like it's going to require a lot of physical being physically present or physically physical like I'm just turning up <laughs> some of you it is like a physical thing uh, like it's to do with your body as well but anyway so Taurus yes this reading is for Taurus sun moon and rising always recommend to watch your three of your placements if you know where they are because it gives you a fuller picture of what's going on for you a more holistic view and this is a general reading Taurus just take what feels right and leave the rest and there is no extended reading because it is a mid-month I'm getting a lot of stuff around talk like self-talk or motivational talk motivational drive motivational talk and that's something that is somehow important whether it's somebody else in your ear or your own talk that it's almost like you want to harness that. So it could be really good to be doing some positive motivation. Um, yeah, positive talk. Death card. Okay. Interesting. The death card rising from the ashes. <laughs> okay. The eight of swords. Despite the frustration, despite restrictions, you are rising from the ashes here, Taurus. Wow, could actually be quite a deeply fulfilling journey for you going through this in a way, but uh, or the rising up part, maybe not the 
the getting to the ashes bit. Uh, we're seeing the tower eclipse like energy. Here's his king of wands again. So it is about trusting your instincts, really trusting your in instincts and the right action, trusting that it's the right action here because your intuition will let you know. Okay, yep, trust the intuitive action, maybe even emotional intelligence, based on trusting your feelings. Here comes beautiful Miss Stella, number Ace of Wands. Okay, let's get Stella in. Okay, yep, this King of Wands has the Ace here. This King of Wands, we also have the Emperor. We've got the Emperor, the King of Wands, and they want to activate this new thing with the Ace, Ace of Wands. Start something new. Uh, feel powerful they're wielding the ace of wands which is powerful for them because they're the the wand king and the emperor is an aries energy as well it's fire as well so it's the fire it's the motivation it's the passion that drives you force it's the doing it's the action that has been taken here and you've gone again there's a lot of power around you with the nine of acorns power and perseverance and so you're wielding this power which is your own drive, your own motivation, your own energy that wants to will something forward and bring it forward. It's interesting because the situation is the death card. So the death card is often, I'm getting transformative, absolutely, but it's like rising from the ashes. It, it often it's a different energy I'm getting for the death card this time because it could be a bigger cycle of there's been a huge cycle of, of birth, death, rebirth, you're sort of almost reinventing yourself or picking yourself back up again after quite a very strong period of that could have been quite intense, an intense period. But I'm also getting with this, which I don't ever get with the death card, but it's different, is it could be a whole bunch of mini deaths in a way, death cards as in, <laughs> uh, not literally, but as in I complete something and then I pick myself back up and I do it again and I pick myself back up. It's a little bit like uh, they're showing me like an athlete. So it might be I do this very strenuous task and I finish it and then I pick myself back up and I do it again and I do it again. And every time that I do it and complete it and it's taken something out and might have had this sort of intensity to it, I pick myself back up and I do it again. And it's crossed by the three of pentacles, which is collaboration, uh, productivity. And it feels intense. It feels almost like you are in your, you're on, even though there might be other people around, it's like other people could be hindering you. This is a group energy with the three of pentacles. So it's like you almost need to do this on your own. You're going through this mini phoenix rising moments constantly. I need to do this on my own. Don't let other people around you derail you. That was kind of what I was getting with the nine of acorns. There's all this stuff whirling around your head or other people's conversations, bits of things that they've said or done. And it's like, don't let them derail you. Just pick yourself back up and start again. So it's transformative, but it's requiring this effort. In your conscious mind, we have this Eight of Swords, and this can be your breaking free of limits. You're breaking free of your own limitations. You're testing the limits and breaking free of frustrations, other people's opinions, your own limiting beliefs. You're breaking free with this Eight of Swords. At the base, we've got this King of Cups. So you've got quite, uh, with this and the Pluto energy, it's it's very Scorpio-type energy. So we, it could be quite emotionally intense, I would say, <laughs> coming in here. But what you're doing is amidst the odds or amidst uh, all these powerful energies swirling around you, you are trusting your intuition. You're finding your own emotional safety you're finding testing your own limits not somebody else's limits that they might be placing upon you or you might feel a little bit tested to the limit in a way because of these external forces but this king of cups finds the emotional safety safety masters intuition masters emotion but there's this kind of intense emotional intensity around this 
So it's definitely breaking free of some kind of restriction around you. Uh, in the recent past, we have the emperor. So it feels like perhaps there's been some kind of meeting with an authority or authority figure or authorities or somebody who's powerful. Uh, it may have been that you were, again, this is about power, both this and the death card and the nine of acorns is about power. So maybe there's things that you've been learning around your power, your physical power, your personal determination and power within a situation. And also this may have been mirrored back to you through having to step into situations and being your power or having to deal with powerful people or people that hold power in your world that are powerful people in your world in some way. So in the near future, we have the four of wands and this is happy home, happy heart, <laughs> the four of wands. I feel like this is a little bit of uh, rewards for hard work, even though that is not normally the interpretation of this card. It's just what I'm feeling. It's like the ah, coming home after a day of hard work or a hard session of some sort or a hard situation or a challenging situation. It's like when you go to one of those interval workouts, it's like boom, 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 boom. That's what it feels like, whether it is physically that or whether it's just like you're feeling like you've, lots of things have been thrown at you super fast and every time's a mini like get myself back up again, get myself back up. It could be any experience that's happening in your life and then it's like ah okay that was uh that was a workout but now I'm coming home <laughs> I'm coming home again and I can just put my feet up relax rest and connect to the things that I like recalibrate and feel like that through these processes somehow I'm building a good foundation for my soul and spirit here Okay, speaking of powerful cats, Stella was definitely giving me a message. She wanted to leave the room, so I've let her out now. She's The door was shut and she just wanted to go somewhere else and she decided that when I got up to open the door, she decided to sit in my seat and I'm like, okay, this is not going to work, but she decided to leave, which was good. So where were we? We're up to you in the situation the Knight of Wands. So this is very motivated. Again, like we've got two Kings of Wands and Knight of Wands as well. So it's, you know, the Kings send their Knight into action. So it may be you're doing something for somebody else here or you are, yeah, maybe there's some, you know, somebody, yeah, it, it, it's like who is who is the king of wands and the emperors in your life? Who are these powerful people that you're kind of doing what they're asking or doing their bidding in some way because you're their knight going out and springing to action? Now, if you identify with them and that's part of you, that's great because it's just like, yep, I am stepping into my power, feeling really motivated and driven and I'm taking action. This is positive change uh, through action very motivated action and so we have the energy surrounding you as the nine of cups which again even though it's taking a lot of effort it could be really deeply fulfilling it's like oh yes i've gone through that workout I keep showing me workout for whatever reason which is just uh, but it's fulfilling for me i feel good afterwards this is a fulfilling process i feel like i'm testing myself i'm pushing myself a little bit beyond my limits but i'm also feeling it's giving me a sense of feeling in control of feeling good about a certain aspect of my life, which is nice. So we have as hopes and fears the tower, boom, in comes the tower. This is a, you know, a really great time to push past any old energy that you've outgrown, any old routine, anything that old belief system, anything that no longer is serving you. And you're like, right, yeah, I want to push beyond that. That's part of what this is. The universe is throwing you little mini challenges. And every time it's like rise to the challenge, there's a mini death with the death card. Phoenix rises again. So boom, the tower card is like change, uh, unexpected change. I just want to create or in bring in a change. Do you want this or not? Because the tower is in a hopes and fears energy. So either it's unexpected change or not. Uh, so what I like about this actually is this King of Wands is in control. The master, this is you, I think, in this outcome. It's like I am mastering how I'm doing things. Quite literally, there's this process and I'm mastering the process in a way. 
mastering, it could even be very highly creative or it could be a sense of mastering just what it is I'm doing here. But through that process, it's really trusting the intuition with the king of wands because it's like saying if something's not really feeling right, I'm going, no, walking away, emotionally detaching, that's going to hurt me. So I don't want to go down that same path. I don't want to be triggered. I don't want to go down a path of heartache or something that's going to wound me in some way. I'm really trusting my intuition of understanding my limits and actually knowing how far to push that I'm not going to get hurt or repatterning, uh, redoing, doing something new that I've outgrown so that I'm not going, I'm moving past those old limitations in some way. And so you really, you try, you, you are testing the limits here, Taurus, but in a really good way that you're trusting your intuition, you're taking the right course of action. Again, if, if it doesn't work, you pick yourself back up again. And it's like, I don't want to... I don't want to feel unfulfilled. I don't want to be triggered. I don't want to be hurt. I'm releasing all those old patterns and I'm trusting what feels right. And that's what this Ace of Wands is, activating your power, activating something new that could be really creative, that could be really physical, that could be really motivating, could be really driven. It could just be all these new activations that are coming through with the Ace of Wands says, this is what I want and I'm activating this. So yeah, it feels really good. Let's pull an affirmation card for you, Taurus. So let's see what's coming through. We have, my healing is already in process. My willingness to forgive begins my healing process. I allow the love from my own heart to wash through me, cleansing and healing every part of my body. I know I am worth healing. And I, I, this whole thing of the body thing, I do feel like whatever's happening, it's having like a, an effect on the body because it, I keep getting this very physical energy around it as well. So... You know, emotions can get trapped in the body, so it may it may even just be that as well for some of you, releasing some of those trapped emotions if it's not um, something that's more physical. Physical. Oh, okay, beautiful. Look at your charm. We have the treble cleft, right? The higher octave of music, and it could quite literally be something to do with music and creativity that you're mastering here for some of you and it could be creating a legacy or you're trying something new and com even completing some completing is this energy of completion that comes through but the higher octave of music is very neptunian it's very much connected to your spiritual spirituality the unseen mysticism imagination and as the higher octave, it's something that really guides you that could feel very intangible, but it might have this very spiritual nature. It's from spirit and you're using a lot of wands here, which is your soul, your spirit. And so it's almost like you're channeling your spirit here in a way that is like producing some really fulfilling and wonderful results in your life because the lower octaves of the vibration of spirit is what we're seeing here with the four of cups, the three of swords and the eight of cups. It's something that is clouded or doesn't feel right or is has been triggering for you and this is rising up above it and going to the higher, maybe understanding it from a higher perspective can be really enlightening, can come through with this as well. But I feel like on an overall level, what it's doing is, yeah, you're testing your limits and breaking free of restrictions, but it's, in a way, it's about aligning you, aligning, realigning your soul and spirit. So it feels really like the action you're taking is aligned and it feels successful only because it's what you're mastering. You're mastering working with this alignment and these messages from spirit. So... Yeah, it's beautiful energy, Taurus. So that's your reading. Follow me on Instagram. 
please like subscribe share leave a comment if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button and let us know what's going on for you and take care taurus